Now here are some additional tips for navigating through Excel. One of the quickest ways to perform an action be it calculation or navigation is to use the keyboard shortcuts. There are many keyboard shortcuts that Excel offers and you can find a list of these shortcuts in the Excel help documentation. For that you can go to the help tab, click on help over here. Here you can type in keyboard shortcuts. Once you select this, you can see a list of keyboard shortcuts for different office applications and here is the one for keyboard shortcuts in Excel. I will click on this and as I scroll down, I can see a list of keyboard shortcuts that I can use which will definitely make my execution faster. Alternatively, you can use the Alt key to display the shortcut keys for the ribbon commands. Next handy feature of the Excel interface is the zoom feature which can be used to zoom in and out of a worksheet. This can be helpful for navigating to specific cells or for viewing large amounts of data. You can also use the navigation pane to navigate to different sheets and cells in a workbook. To go to the navigation pane, click on the view tab and then click on the navigation pane button over here. Here you can see the list of worksheets that are a part of this workbook. Under each worksheet you can see different range of cells which has data in it. So if I click here, it takes me to the cell range which has the total calculated. If I click here, it takes me to this range of cells. So with this you can directly navigate through the workbook. So from this worksheet if I click here, I directly move to the working sheet 2. This way it helps me to quickly move to the desired sheet and cells. Apart from these as we have already seen with the help of the quick access toolbar which we can customize to include the shortcuts that we use most often, we can easily access the shortcuts without having to remember them. 